Dot. Inmates are being actively recruited in St. Petersburg jails, according to independent media outlet High Stories. In an arrangement that suggests they will be deployed as cannon fodder. Private military company Wagner, seen as working hand in glove with Vladimir Putin's armed forces and with close Kremlin links, is reported to be behind a recruitment drive at Penal Colonies No. 7 Yablo Nevka, No. 6 Abakovo, and No. 4 Kornosovo. The FSB Security Service, once headed by Putin, is also reported to be involved. If true, the reports indicate the desperation of Russia to mobilize from unexpected quarters, an indication that more conventional recruitment bids are failing with commanders worried about manpower shortages. A relative of one convict said, so called inspectors came to Yabloneka on Friday evening. They talked to convicts and asked them to defend motherland. My relative was told this, it is very hard to find boxes, they are prepared very well. We will be in Vanguard, help find the Nazis, this is why not everyone will return. At first, they said that about 20% would return. Then, that almost no one will come back. Those who survive are promised a reward of 200,000 rubles, 2,800 pounds, and an amnesty. And if he dies, they promise to pay the family 5 million rubles, 70,000 pounds. But this is all words. It will not be recorded anywhere on paper. At first the recruitment drive was only for those with previous military service but now it seems that it is open to all convicts, though not those serving 20 years or more for the most heinous crimes. A source told I stories, about 200 people wanted to sign up, but in the end they registered about 40, and they were even tested on a lie detector. My loved one wanted to agree, but we, relatives, made a tantrum with threats. Now he swears that he will not go, but he definitely hesitates, because he sees this as an opportunity to earn money. He says, if the worst happens, I will earn you the money for an apartment. A relative of a prisoner who was selected to fight with Wagner said, he was bribed with the promise that in six months he would return home and his criminal record would be wiped out. In addition, when six months have passed and those wanting to continue serving will be provided with a job. It was claimed the inmates would be sent to war without passports or identification tokens. Another source, Vladimir Sechkin, 
Exile founder of human rights group Uahu.net, said that FSB officers were currently recruiting volunteers for Donbas among prisoners in the Oblo Nevda. The banks are openly told that they will have neither documents nor a badge, and their bodies will not be given to their relatives, in the event they are killed, he said. selected after agreeing to buy back taken away almost immediately. The men were signing a bonded contract with Wagner, it was claimed. Prisoners' families are horrified by what is happening, said Gulag.net. Many have wives, children. Convicts who have agreed to leave talk like zombies with their relatives. Please help stop this lawlessness. Convicts who have families waiting for them cannot voluntarily agree to this. The state in which the convicts are in the colony does not allow them to make an informed choice. Please help.